Hey YouTube fans out there, how's it going? Uh, I've never done a tutorial before, so this is the first time that I've ever done this. Um, since so many of you love Discombobulate, the version that I created of Discombobulate from the movie Sherlock Holmes, I figured I would try to make a tutorial. Um, the first thing that's, that I did to create my version was I took the melody from the movie And all I did to that melody was I moved it into an octave, so that I played both of those notes simultaneously an octave apart. Then after that, what I did is I manipulated the rhythm, so I did just a simple, let's see here, after that, all you do is you insert the left hand, and the left hand is pretty simple, all you have is a D minor chord. And then you just add the right hand on top of that. Then you have to insert both the rhythm and everything else so that eventually it, it becomes pretty simple. For those of you who uh, have never heard the original Sherlock Holmes score, I also really tried to uh, create a piece that was really close to the original in terms of rhythm and, and beat and everything else like that. Um, there are some key changes. so. There is a section where it goes to C major, uh, C minor. And then eventually it modulates to G, ma uh, G minor. And then eventually it goes back into D minor. And after that, it just pretty much resolves chromatically. And that's all for this tutorial. Hopefully that helped some of you figure out how to play it at home. Um, there are other YouTube tutorials out there that I highly recommend that, uh, of people that are playing Discombobulate. And uh, if you have any other questions, please post them and I will try to get them back to you as soon as possible. Thanks.